We'll show assisted rescues in calm and in choppy conditions. It's worth practicing rescues in both to become fast and efficient. Later coaching sessions will cover self-rescues, in particular how you can teach yourself the necessary skills. But we'll start with a basic move common to many rescues and self-rescues. So one of the most important things we have to be able to do is to be able to get back into the kayak. I'm just going to show you a way to do that using the heel hook. So when I'm in the water facing the kayak, I'm going to take my leg at the front of the, the boat, which is my left one in this case, hook it into the cockpit. My left arm I'm putting across and I'm holding my deck lines, or Lizzie's deck lines, or, or them both. And the idea for that is to pull the kayaks together. And then using my leg and my arm to pull myself and leave myself onto the back deck, other leg goes in, and then twist around, sit up, and pop the spray deck on. This is a fundamental rescue move worth practicing until it's second nature. The heel hook. Then, if you're hooking with your left leg, use the left hand to grasp your deck lines and the rescuer's deck lines. Use hand and heel to pull yourself out of the water and keep the body rotation going as you roll into your kayak. For the rest of these sessions, Gordon will be the rescuer. Janice, who has been paddling for under two years, is the kayaker who has volunteered to get wet. First, we'll see them demonstrate a standard deep water rescue. If you just get out your boat and hold on to your boat, go to the front end of your boat. That's it. And then what you do is just transfer onto mine and just hold on to the deck line just there. That's perfect. You got your paddle. Good. I just take my paddle and push it under my elastics here. I then take the boat, hands on, and turn it up the right way. That lets me then slide it onto my boat. And then we've got options now. One option is I hook my thumb through this deck line here and roll the boat into the crook of my arm. And that lifts it up, empties it, and then turn it up the right way. Another option is I've got it here, I turn it upside down on my boat and then I edge my boat away and using the extra height of this boat out of the water now it lifts the cockpit clear. I can then spin the boat back up the right way. When doing so he turns the kayaks bow to stern. I put it into the water and it goes under my armpit and then bring it up to beyond where Janice is and let her come on the outside of the boat then hold on to the deck lines. Can I have your paddle, please? Holding on to the deck lines, lying across the boat with my armpit on the centre line of the boat, pulling my knees towards my chest. You just hook your left leg in, Janice, and then roll up onto the back deck. Other leg in, and spray deck on, and we can be on our way. In Janice's early attempts, we see several common mistakes. She correctly faces the rescuer's kayak, but she reaches for the deck lines before she does the leg hook, and she's reaching with the wrong hand first. As a result, she can just reach as far as her cockpit rim rather than her deck lines and rescuer's deck lines, and her leg isn't securely hooked when she starts to pull herself out. What's more, on this attempt, Janice stops partway through her rolling motion and twists back on herself. She gets into the kayak, but it's not the best method. On a later attempt, Janice continues the action of rotating into her kayak and the entry is much smoother and more balanced. We'll now practice this here at Tarskaveg in choppy water underneath the spectacular mountains of sky. So doing a rescue in bigger water is just the same. Okay, can you move to the front of your boat, Janice? Go to the front of your boat. 